Thanks everyone, for being a part of my journey. Today we are going to learn, how to create Dolly Zoom or Vertigo effect. And we have seen this effect in some popular movies. Usually this effect is used to create suspense, or indicate a moment of danger. As we can see, the main subject in the foreground stays the same position, but the background appears to move closer or further away from the subject. The Dolly Zoom effect is also known by various names. The technique was invented by Alfred Hitchcock, in his Vertigo film. Hitchcock used it to make us feel uneasy, almost sick to our stomachs. To make a dolly shot, you need a dolly track, and a camera with zoom lens. That's why it's called dolly zoom. Once you have everything set up, then dolly out or pull back, and zoom in your subject. Or you can dolly in, and zoom out your subject. So first we need an object. And here I'm using this cube. Second we need a dolly track, and here I'm using this book for the dolly track. Also, we can use a gimbal as well. And third, we need a camera with a zoom lens. Here I am using my iPhone. But there is no zoom lens. So we record this clip in 4K resolution. Then digitally zoom in our clip, 4K to 1080p. I've recorded this clip in 4K 30fps. And don't use plain background. Try to use good depth in background. I tried five to six times then I got this one. Now I'll show you, how to edit this clip, on your computer and your mobile phone. For the computer, I will use Adobe Premiere Pro. For the mobile phone, I'll use Filmora Go. Now let's see how to make the dolly zoom or vertigo effect, inside the Adobe Premiere Pro. So first import your clip to the project panel. Then we have to make a new sequence. So click Ctrl plus N to open the new sequence settings. Under the sequence presets, Click on Digital SLR drop-down icon and select 1080-30fps preset. Then type a sequence name and click on OK. Now drag and drop your video clip to the timeline. As you can see this clip does not match the sequence settings. Because my clip is 4K, but the sequence is 1080. So click on Keep Existing Settings. Now let's zoom in the timeline. Then right click on this layer and select scale to frame size. So it will automatically adjust your clip to the sequence settings. Let's see a quick preview. So I need to delete a few seconds from the beginning. Click Ctrl plus K to make a cut. Now select this part and click Shift plus delete. Let's delete a few seconds from the end of this clip. Now I think it looks perfect for me. For the dolly zoom effect, we need to keep our subject in the same position. So we can use safe margins to align our subject. To enable the safe margins, click on this little plus icon, select the safe margins icon, then drag and drop it here. And click OK. Now just click on this icon to enable the safe margins. Again click on it to disable these margins. But in my case, I'm going to use another process. Move the time indicator to the first frame. Make a new adjustment layer. Drag and drop it above your clip. Adjust the duration with your clip. Then move to the effects tab and search for the crop effect. Apply this effect to the adjustment layer. Then move over to the effect controls tab under the crop effect. Crop the full background without your subject. Crop the background from left right, and top to bottom. Now select your video layer. And make keyframes on the position and scale. 
Then move the time indicator to the last frame. And scale your clip, until it matches with the box. Then adjust the position. Let's see a quick preview. Again I need to adjust the position here. Now I think it's perfect for me. Then delete the adjustment layer. And let's see how it looks. As you can see, my subject in the same position. But the background is stretching. And our dolly zoom effect is almost done. But we can make it more smooth. So first nested the sequence. Right click on it. Select nest. And click OK. Then move to the effects tab, and search for warp stabilizer. Apply the warp stabilizer to the nested sequence. And it will take a few moments to stabilize this footage. So our dolly zoom animation is done. Now we can reverb this animation. So hold on alt button, and drag it to the last frame. So it will make a copy of this layer. Then right click on the duplicated clip. Select speed and duration. And enable reverse speed. Now click on OK. Now let's see the final preview. Now let's see how to make the dolly zoom, in Filmora Go. You can download it under the description link. Or you can go to the App Store, and Play Store. Then search here Filmora Go. And download this application. Now open this application. Then click on the new project, and import your video clip. Click on this play button to see the preview of our clip. Now I need to cut a few seconds from the beginning. Select this video layer. And click on this split icon to make a cut. Then delete the left part from the beginning. Again I need to cut a few seconds from the end of this clip. And it looks perfect for me. Now move the time indicator to the first frame of this clip. And select the layer. Then make a keyframe here, by clicking on this icon. And remember the position of your subject. Again move the time indicator to the last frame of your clip. Then click on the preview video. And zoom in your video just like that. Try to adjust the subject position, same as the first frame of your video. And there we go. Our dolly zoom animation is done. Now let's see how to export it. Click on this drop down arrow key. Then select resolution 1080p. Now click on export. Then save the video. So that's all for the dolly zoom or vertigo effect. Hope that you enjoy this video. And if you have any questions, please feel free to ask me on Instagram. I will see you in the next one. Have a nice day.